story. A boy has been abducted and was seen accidentally in a window by Little Bill Hi. before the crooks pulled the boy out of sight. Frankie went to the police, but it was too late. The men had already decided to move the boy to another hideout in their van. The Red Hand Gang figured they might find the new hideout by following the crook's girlfriend. So, Joanne climbed a ladder outside of a window to make sure she was still there and almost got caught. But the gang was able to get away and trail the lady to an old haunted mansion where the kidnappers had taken the boy. Frankie climbed the fence to investigate. Inside, the men caught sight of him, but thought he was just some kid goofing around. Frankie played it cool. Then, Signal Doc and the two boys sneaked into the cellar to look around. It, it's an old lady, and she's coming this way, and she, and she doesn't have any head. Just a clothing dummy. <sighs> the cloth cotton boomer's collar. <sighs> and that's just what I figured. outside and keep the bikes ready for a quick getaway. Listen, if you're going upstairs, uh, why don't you take JR instead of me? Uh, he uh, has better night, night vision. Night vision, he has better night vision. Uh, not that I'm scared, I mean, uh, I got nerves of skill. Huh? They uh, said they'd have the money ready for us tomorrow? Better know I mean business. I said I'd phone him again in the morning and tell him where to leave it. The voices are coming from the furnace. Better know I mean business. <sighs> They're upstairs, all right. Hey, we can use this. Doc, you and Joanne stay here and listen. Jay and I will scout ahead. If the coast is clear, we'll call down to you through the pipes. Wow, that's so walkie talkie. <laughs> Keep the light. We can't use it up there. It might give us away. Okay, be careful. <laughs>
They look almost real, don't they? Yeah. Especially that one. Jim, I didn't take my finger off it. Again. You want to play another one? I'm getting hungry. Anything to eat down there in the kitchen? Is that all you can think of? Stuff in your face. Well, if we're going to be up all night. All right. All right, let's go. <laughs> Someone upstairs. Come on. Did you hear something? Just my stomach growling. Keep it quiet. They must have the boy back there someplace. Should we follow them? First, we'd better tell Doc what's happening. Right hand. It's JR. Are you okay? We saw the man go into the kitchen. We're going to check it out. Wait there. Okay, JR. 10 4. See, the windows are all boarded up so nobody can see the light from outside. Hey, what's that? You don't know what that is? <laughs> that, my friend, is for servants. You see, all over this house, there are buttons. Now, you press one of them buttons, and one of these things lights up according to where the room is. Real classy. Hey, can I go push one of the buttons? Hey, enough with the playing. Come on. <laughs> you know, when we get the dough, I'm going to get one of them boxes. Let's see. Is the boy in there? I can't tell. I know what this is. You pull on a rope and it goes up and down. It's a dumb waiter. Gee, Marco, why do you have to criticize everything? That's what it's called, not head. Oh. <laughs> well, I'm going to get me one of those. And one of these. Hey, here's some canned stuff. Do you think this call box thing works? Yeah, maybe. Well, uh... If it shows up there, then somebody would have to push a button out there. Then it don't work. Because how could anybody be in the dining room? Hey. What are you talking about? Could anybody be? Where the button is, under the table. Ghost. 
Hey, pull yourself together. It's only a dumb cat. Stepped on the butt. Maybe he's looking for something to eat, huh? <laughs> hey, this is some room. Let's eat here. Well, I'm not gonna eat that stuff. There's gotta be something better out there. I'll push the button under the ta table, and you tell me when you see it. Oh, come on, Marco. It'll be like you're the butler, and you bring the stuff out when I push the button. I got it. Is it showing out there? No, you ain't got it. It's gotta be it. I, I can feel it. I'll press harder. It's got to be it. That's it. All right. Enough already with the games. Boy, that's some gimmick. I'm going to get me one of them buttons in my place. Come on. Let's go upstairs. I don't want to leave Lola too long alone with the kid. Look. If they're going to go classy, let's go classy. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, come on, will you? Hey, this thing is hard to push. Will must be rusty or something. Come on, I thought you were the one that was hungry. Don't leave that there. I thought you said it was heavy. It's light as a feather. Except goofy. Because I'm telling you, that thing was hard to push. Yeah. Something's goofy, all right. Come on. Think the guy's okay? Boy, I sure hope so. find out. Here. Wait a second, it's him. Will you cut that out? Get back to the game. Done that boom. Now, now we have to be super quiet while JR and Frank are upstairs. Here. 
I'm gonna go get something to drink. It was just a little mistake. Uh, I, I got in the wrong house. You see, I came in here. I thought it was my place. It's quite similar, you know. Oh, I'm gonna ask you one more time. I was looking for a place to sleep. Uh, are you gentlemen uh, the caretakers? No. We're a couple. Yeah. That's right. We are the caretakers. Oh, well, in that case, uh, let me make it perfectly clear. I did not knock over that suit of armor. He did. But I'll be happy to overlook it uh, if you'll pay for the price of uh, uh, fixing my suit. Uh, it, uh, he wrinkled it. Five dollars should cover it. Five dollars? Yeah. Get him out of here! Hey, Doc. What is it, Frankie? Where are you? Right behind you. Keep quiet. They're at the back door. Oh, I'll be glad to stay in the basement. Keep out the riffraff, the tramps, the vent. And lock the door back there. I gotta get back up to JR. We'll make sure the boy's there and see if he's tied up or what. I'll check with you through the furnace. Right, I'll take Boom. Mm -hmm. Put him in here. He won't get out. You'll be okay, Johnny. Just don't try anything foolish. Come on. What? Come on. Okay, we're coming. Help him move just in front of the door. Boop. Boy, that's heavy, Marco. <laughs> An elephant couldn't move this. One just did. Come on. I want to talk to you. Come on!
Drinks. Oh, I got them up here. Run away. <laughs> <laughs> 